This time we're going to be focusing on the Colts logo, which is rather simple. So the video, luckily, is, is not too long. And in fact, it would be shorter if I just left it at the Bear logo. But towards the, I guess, halfway point, I show you how to make it a little more interesting. Um, and it's just a suggestion. Um, it's something I might do. Um, because, frankly, I like trying to use all my layers if they're available just to make that logo look that much more cool. But if you're fine with the bare Colts logo, you'll, you're going to be seeing how to make that too. So do not worry. And it's a lot less effort to just make the bare Colts logo, honestly. So when you're making those two, uh, I guess, tips of the horseshoe, use the curved, um, like the, I guess, the square with rounded edges. If you look at that part of the logo, the edges of that part are curved just a little bit. So yeah, just start with two circles and make the two little, uh, two little tips of the, of, you know, of the horseshoe, and then you crop it out. Basically, you just crop certain portions of it out, and you slowly build your horseshoe very very simple just making some slight adjustments again as I recommend with all logos be sure to look at the actual logo when creating this not just my video so that you can get a sense for why I'm making the moves that I'm making and so you can get a, a sense of the implicit proportions within that logo And right now, I'm just I'm making the I'm making that portion of the logo that I'm manipulating right now just a little more curved. I'm cropping out the sharp corner that would otherwise be there. By the way, the way I do make it more interesting, which you will see very shortly, is I go for a 3D effect, and it's a quite simple change. Just just make a you basically want to make the, I guess, quote, 3D portions just a little darker shade of blue than the blue that you're seeing right now. And you lay them out how I will show you. By the way, the the tools that I use to crop out some of the image are gray right now. I'm going to change those to white very shortly. Actually, right now I will. And there you go. That's the standard Colts logo. You can leave it at that. Um, you could yeah, you could turn off the video right now and you would be fine. You'd be set. But for those of you who maybe want to go the extra mile, Stay tuned. I'll show you how to make the logo uh, slightly three-dimensional. So what I do is just copy and paste that blue circle we used to begin with and just bring it under the logo a little bit, make it a darker shade of blue. And you could leave it at that, but I'm going to do a little extra. Basically, if if we see, I guess, the bottom part of that horseshoe, then we should also see, or, or the side of that horseshoe, then we, sh we should also see the side of the two parts that I'm manipulating right now. So that's the reasoning for that. And I'm not just going to leave it at that either. You should actually just be, you know, um, just going by what I feel the perspective would be, you would also see the parts of the logo that I'm changing currently. And I was kind of speeding through it, 
it's not a perfect perfect fit I'm sure if you took a little bit of time with it you could get the the tools that I'm changing right now uh, to fit a little more snugly around the logo I'm actually gonna attempt a little bit to to make it more smooth but in the end it's not gonna be as smooth as it certainly could be if I were really taking my time with it again right now the tools that I'm used for cropping some of the image out are gray and that's just so I can see uh, more easily where they are. <laughs> I'll change them to white shortly. Okay, and you could leave it at that, <laughs> or you could add some highlights here and there, which is what I'm doing. You just make a white smiley, and make sure it's white, and then lower the opacity to the number I've lowered it to. and now you have a pretty good looking logo you know of course it's a little bit more difficult this way but I certainly think it adds some sort of appeal you know like the Colts logo is so simplistic um, it's almost too simplistic of a logo so I really like going the extra mile yeah that wraps it up Stay tuned for more videos. I'll be doing the Seahawks, and I still have not gotten around to the Atlanta Falcons and Broncos. I will do this. And I'll also be starting Superheroes shortly. Stay tuned.